Hello everyone, this is Rock. I'm here to bring you some news from Hong Kong and Asia. Here's the latest scoop for all of you Studio Ghibli enthusiasts out there. Get ready to mark your calendars because the final section of Japan's Ghibli Park, the enchanting Witch Valley, has officially opened its doors on March 16th. This means that you can now step into the magical realms of the beloved film like Kiki's Delivery Service and Howl's Moving Castle. Located in Aichi Prefecture, Ghibli Park has quickly become a must-see destination since its grand opening. And with all five areas now unveiled, it's a dream come true for any Ghibli Park fans. Ghibli Park has been transformed from the Expo 2005 Aichi Commemorative Park. It's sprawling with five distinct areas, Ghibli's Grand Warehouse, Hill of Youth, Don Doko Forest, and the newly completed Valley of the Witches, as well as Mononoke's Village. These areas are a, bit, are a bit spread out, with the Grand Warehouse being the central hub featuring classic film exhibits, photo spots, and iconic characters and scenes exclusive Ghibli merchandise shops and snack areas. It's a hot spot, so be prepared to queue up. Now, the Hill of Youth, themed after the movie Whisper of the Heart and The Cat Returns, is conveniently located near the park's entrance. You'll find a replica of the antique shop, Earth Shop, and the cat office from the movies along with the bus stop from the cat bus, cleverly tying the two films together. Don Doko Forest, named after a scene from My Neighbor Totoro, the movie, offers a leisurely hillside walk to Satsuki and Mei's house, along with shops to make up a break and enjoy some snacks. Now, let's talk about the newly opened Mononoke's village and Witch Valley, situated close to the Hill of Youth and the Grand Warehouse. Mononoke's village draws inspiration from the mountain villages seen in Princess Mononoke, with thatched roofed huts, watchtowers, and the Tatara ironworks, where you can indulge yourself in the traditional making of rice cakes called Gohei Mochi. Just make sure you visit before 4 pm. The highlight, which valley, is the largest area and that recreate, recreates the scenes from Howl's Moving Castle. Kiki's Delivery Service and the movie Earwig and the Witch, featuring attractions like Sophie's Hat Shop, Howe's Castle, Gucho Kipanya Bakery and Osonno House, and the Witch's House. You can actually buy freshly made baguettes from the bakery, and life-size Howe's Castle even has smoke puffing out of its chimneys every hour. And you can explore inside. For the first time ever, Ghibli Park introduces amusement rides like a carousel and a flying contraption available for an extra fee. And for a bit of extra magic, the iconic cat bus from the movie My Neighbor Totoro shuttles visitors around the park. Starting March 16th, a special cat bus route circles the park's perimeter, connecting Mononoke's village and Dondoko Forest, with the full journey taking about 10 minutes. Tickets for the cat bus are about 1,000 yen for adults, which is about $52 Hong Kong, and 500 yen for children, roughly $26 Hong Kong, and for tots under three, they ride for free. As for the tickets to Ghibli Park itself, they're reservation only, so no same-day tickets are sold at the park, so don't arrive thinking that you can buy tickets straight away. With the full opening out of all areas, Ticket options have been updated. There are now three types of tickets that you can buy. A stroll ticket, a grand stroll ticket, and a premium grand stroll ticket. The later two grant you access to the grand warehouse. These tickets go on sale on the 10th of the month, two months before your intended visit. So you can start snagging tickets for May. So the major difference between the two uh, premium tickets uh, grand Stroll and Premium Grand Stroll. Premium option gives you access to Satsuki and Mei's house, the Earth Shop, Howe's Castle, Osona's house, and the Witch's house. 
On weekdays, the premium Grand Stroll ticket costs 7,300 yen for adults, which is $383 Hong Kong. And on holidays, 7,800 yen, uh, which is about $409 Hong Kong. The regular Grand Stroll ticket is 3,500 yen on weekdays, or 183 Hong Kong dollars, or 4,000 yen on holidays, $209 Hong Kong, with half price tickets available for children aged 4 to 12. So, how are we going to get there? You'll start from Nagoya Station. Hop on the Higashi, Higashiyama subway line, and then at the Fujigaoka station, you'll switch over to the Lin, Limino. Uh, to the Limino, which is the Aichi, which is the Aichi Rapid Transport Tubu Kiyuro Ryo line. Breaking news, everybody! Kate Middleton has been spotted in public, and the middle-aged singing competition in Hong Kong is marred with vote-buying controversy. First, we're going to head over to the UK and to look at the royal family and Kate Middleton's status. Kate Middleton's health status has sparked widespread speculation, as we all know. Is the British family, British royal family, about to make a significant announcement? Media responses are varied, including Meghan's input. How is this so? Among the British royal family, we know that Kate Middleton garners considerable attention. After announcing her surgical procedure a month ago, Kate has been out of the public eye, leading to a public speculation. Following a recent Photoshop controversy which was quelled, another wave of rumours has arisen. The British royal family hinted at the major upcoming event, which has prompted endless media speculation, even suggesting that Meghan Markle wishes to offer professional advice to Kate. What is the current state of Kate's health? We have breaking news, everybody. Local tip-offs to The Sun reveal that Kate was spotted at Windsor Farm Shop. According to a report by The Sun on the 18th of March, the Duchess of Cambridge, who was absent from the public eye, was seen in a farm shop in Windsor. A witness told The Sun that on the morning of the 16th, they encountered Prince William and the Duchess shopping there. Kate appeared happy, relaxed and healthy. The Sun, combining other reports, noted that before William and Kate's shopping trip, the couple accompanied the three children to a sporting event. However, the Sun's report did not include any photos or videos. The Mirror reports that royal experts have mentioned Meghan has considered cons contact contacting Kate through secret channels, but Kate does not see, see her as qualified to offer support and advice. There has been zero communication between the two for some time. Records indicate that since Meghan and Harry moved to California in 2020, there has been no form of communication between Meghan and Kate. Commentators suggest that Meghan wishes to show concern for Kate, and if she does, she should send a bouquet of flowers or a basket of flowers rather than offering her advice. The exact nature of Kate's abdominal surgery is still a mystery, and the state of her health has not been further disclosed by the royal family, leading to various additional speculation. Royal insiders suggest that after her surgery, the Duchess is likely to attend church services on Easter Sunday, or March 31st, and may also reveal her status of health during, the Prince, during Prince Louis' sixth birthday. It is believed that once she makes an appearance, it will dispel the rumours regarding her health uh, spreading far and wide. On a different note, allegations of vote buying, voice of middle age two, online messages claiming voting for Yao, uh, Yan Mi Gao could result in a free massage. TVB's variety show Voice of the Middle Age 2 is set to hold its finale on Sunday evening. The battle to the summit of Voice of Middle Age 2, in addition to the regular judges including Maria Cadello, Cheung Ka Tien, Priscilla Chan, M Chong Hang and Chao Kwok Fung, Miriam Yeung is also joining as a guest star, with Taiwanese diva Chai Chin set to perform. The seven finalists, including Gu Ngao Wen, An Ya Shi, Tam Fei Chi, Yan Mi Gao, Wong Kam Man, Shen Zhong Zhang, and Chao Yu Fei, will compete for gold, silver, and bronze awards, as well as the audience's favorite of voice, voted online by viewers. In recent years, fan voting 
in award shows and talent competitions has been marred with allegations of vote buying, such as creating multiple phone numbers to vote for their idols. Media reports claim to have, claim to have received tips from readers stating that the good brother and the, uh, the hot favourite Yan Mi Gao is canvassing votes online. After voting for Yan Mi Gao online, supporters can show their screenshot as proof to redeem a free muscle straining neck and shoulder massage valued at $280. This good brother even shared a WhatsApp channel of the voice of Middle Age 2 and the official voting link from TVB to facilitate support. However, this method raises suspicions of vote buying. As of now, Yan Mi Gao and TVB have not responded to reports.